The report is in and the wheels are in motion. Old Dominion's fast-tracked football program is ready for a new home, but the process is just beginning and it won't be built anytime soon. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap Live on this Thursday night. And for the first time today, Old Dominion Athletic Director Dr. Wood Seelig was finally able to talk about what's been reported since Monday. A year-long study has concluded the university should include a new state-of-the-art football stadium in its master plan and that will probably cost in the neighborhood of a hundred million dollars. Foreman Fields days are numbered. The report is recommended against renovation and instead stated that the best thing to do is tear down the Palatan apartment dorms and build the stadium on this site near the Elizabeth River. Now this is the proposed area shot today from Chopper 10. The apartments built in the late 70s and early 80s are just a few blocks away from the Elizabeth River. Much like Florida International's new stadium provides some fans with a view of the Atlantic Ocean, a new football stadium could also have some water views. Sports fans seem to flock to new stadiums and arenas with fancy sky suites and many of the comforts of home, and that means more revenue. I think the facility has to scream quality. You have to have the technology, you have to have the video boards, you have to have spacious aisles and, and leg space. You have to have the concessions in the restrooms that are e easy accessible. You have to have the, the stadium with chair back seats that, again, no matter who we're playing, people want to go because the environment, the setting, the atmosphere is second to none in college football. That's right, with most games televised now, comfort and environment is crucial to get fans out of their houses and into the stadium where they not only buy tickets, but food, drinks, and souvenirs. It's hard to believe ODU wasn't even playing football five years ago, so how could this all have happened so quickly? Right now we enjoy the, 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 the benefit of supply and demand, where we're in a 20,000 seat stadium and we've sold out 29 consecutive games. We have to make sure that we get the number right for the new football stadium. Is it 28,000? Is it 30,000? What is that number? Because I think the last thing we can afford to do is overbuild our demand and, and then you lose the luxury of having that urgency for your tickets and surrounding your program. Ah, but urgency will also have to be tempered with a healthy dollop of patience. Building anything near water at Hampton Roads requires plenty of studies and permits before ground can even be broken. And new dorms and dining rooms for 700 students will have to be built before the Palatan dorms can be torn down. So we're probably talking at least five years, maybe more, before the first game can be played. But as we have seen since Dr. Selig has taken the reins, things move quickly when it comes to athletics at ODU and we should know much more by Christmas and I'll discuss this with coach Bobby Wilder when the Old Dominion football show premieres its fourth season Friday night September 6th right here on Fox 43.